Hello everyone, so today I am here to talk to you guys about um, my most recent book buying ban as well as why I decided to get rid of almost all of my books. <laughs> I shouldn't say almost all of them, I do actually have quite a few still obviously I wasn't just gonna get rid of all of my books but um, I did significantly uh, cut down on the amount of books that I currently own. Um, and this was for quite a few reasons, um, but I'm gonna tell you guys all about that. But first, I'm going to show you guys uh, my book buying ban and all of that kind of stuff. So like I do with every book buying ban, I'm going to show you guys my current TBR, which stands at about 30 books. And um, the reason why I am doing a book buying ban, if you guys still haven't heard, I'm going to Hawaii in the spring and I want to finish all of the books I currently own on my shelf before I go, or at least a lot of them before I currently, before I go because uh, I won't get to read them until I get back. Uh, there are a couple that I don't mind waiting on though just because like you know they're summery contemporaries and I'm probably not gonna get to them this summer and stuff like that. Um, and also quite a few of these I do hope to finish before going back to school. So right now it is currently about 30 books that I have to show you. But yeah um, I'm not gonna go into a huge amount of detail just because there are quite a few books and I probably talked about them in book hauls and stuff like this already so I'm just gonna be telling you guys what books I have. <laughs> so the first one is The Nakano Thrift Shop by Hiromi Kawakami, The Martian by Andy Weir, The Chemist by Stephanie Meyer, Fifty Shades Freed by E.L. James, Pachinko by Min Jin Lee, Kitchen by Banana Yoshimoto, Silence by Shuka Shusaku Endo, White is for Witching by Helen Oyayami, Boy Snowbird also by Helen Oyayami, Dark Matter by Blake Crouch, Battle Royale by Kushin Takami, Forbidden by Tabitha Suzuma, I think this is one of the ones that's been on my TBR the longest, Homegoing by Ya Gyasi, Crazy Rich Asians by Kevin Kwan, The Alchemist by Paulo Coelho, The Amazing Adventures of Cavalier and Clay by Michael Chaban, Rabbit Cake by Annie Hartnett, Bimian by Herman Hesse, which I also have an ebook copy of, The Girls by Emma Klein, yeah. A World Without You by Beth Revis, which I'm actually not totally sure if I want to read anymore. If you have read this, please tell me down in the comments below because I've just seen this as a very average three-star read, so I'm a little on the fence. Alice by Christina Henry, because if anyone was keeping up with my videos and wanted to know if I ever got this book, I did finally get it from Book Depository. The Luminaries by Eleanor Caton, which is, oh my god. We Need to Talk About Kevin by Lionel Shriver. Everything Everything by Nina LaCour, Valley of the Dolls by Jacqueline Susan, The Dispossessed by Ursula K. Le Guin, Firestarter by Stephen King, Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte, which I also have an ebook copy of so I might just read it when I'm in Hawaii, A Little Life by Hanya Yanigahara, which I also have an ebook copy of which I'm planning on reading in Hawaii, and The Unexpected Everything by Morgan Matson. So yeah, that is currently my physical TBR because I do have a Kindle, which I do have ebooks on. I just did an ebook haul if you guys want to go see that, um, which I don't count those books as like TBR books right now just because I am focusing on my physical books to finish them before I leave. So yeah, those are my physical books that I have on my TBR. So now I'm going to talk about why I decided to get rid of so many books because if you guys haven't noticed, um, my bookshelves completely changed, especially these ones. I don't know if anyone actually pays attention to the backgrounds of videos, but they are very, very different and very, very sparse, as well as the fact that the majority of the books on this shelf right here, the big one, are actually weren't even in my shelf before, like now. I brought them from a, another bookshelf that I have downstairs up here, um, and now that shelf downstairs is basically empty. Um, so yeah, it's it's been kind of weird recently, not gonna lie. Um, if you guys follow me on Goodreads, you will have seen that I recently read The Life-Changing Magic of Tidying Up. So here's the story. I have kind of wanted to get rid of books for a while now. So I recently moved to this new house. Um, if you guys weren't here before this, I was in a different house literally like six months ago. Um, and it was very, very fast for me because while well, my parents got to like kind of move slowly over six weeks or so, um, I was basically like, I needed to pack up my entire room and get everything ready within like a week or two because I had to go back to school. Um, and they would be moving while I was at college. So I didn't really get to spend a lot of time really going through things. It was more just 
packaging them all up. So I didn't really get the chance to go through my books and get rid of a lot. I did get rid of some while I was packing them up, but for the most part I just kind of focused on getting them all ready to go. Um, so I never got to really like look at what I wanted to actually keep and what I didn't. So it's been in the back of my head for quite a few months now that I was kind of like, I don't know if I want so many books anymore. Basically this is kind of coming from the fact that I'm going to be a sophomore in college uh, this upcoming year and I just noticed how much I'm probably going to be moving around. Um, my brother's five years older than me and he has moved like five times in the past couple of years and it's been like not like stressful but it's kind of opened my eyes to the fact that like while you're in college and then the first couple of years out of college you are moving so much like for jobs or just finding your place kind of thing i'm gonna be going to hawaii for a while i might go to korea after i graduate like it's like i don't have the ability basically to have this many books that I'm, I'm trying to move between all of these different places like obviously my parents said i can keep a bookshelf here for you know books that I want I don't I want to keep but I don't necessarily want right away at my house or something so I kind of finally decided to pick this book up which everyone talks about all the time um, and I decided to read just the chapters on discarding and getting rid of books specifically and it finally inspired me to really do it if you guys don't know what the basic principle of this book is, it's basically looking at your life and holding everything in your hands and going, do I want this? Is Does this spark joy? Like not even necessarily, am I going to use this or something? It's, does this spark joy in my life? Um, and I did that with basically all of my books. And I think I got rid of probably close to a hundred or more. Um, <clears throat> yeah. Of course, they have been donated to my library, my local bookshop, and my friends. My friends took a lot of my books. <laughs> but basically, what really got me was in this book, there's this line. Where is it? Let me find it exactly. It's on page, like, 88, 89, if you guys have a copy of your own. Um, but it says, Imagine what it would be like to have a bookshelf filled with only books that you really love. Isn't that image spellbinding? For someone who loves books, what greater happiness could there be? Now, if you guys know me, I am actually really, really good at unhauling books. If I don't like a book, if it's two stars, I almost never keep it. Like, there's only been a couple of very vain instances of, oh, I like the cover, so I'll keep it kind of thing. But for the most part, I'm really good about going, I, this book was okay, I didn't like it that much, I'll get rid of it. Or uh, when I haven't read a book and it's been sitting on my TBR forever, I'll unhaul it if I don't have any interest in it anymore. But this time, I really looked at my books and I held each one and I went, does this actually give me joy? Even if I gave it a four star, did I, did, did, will I ever go back? Will it, does it spark joy in me going like, oh my god, I love this book so much. I can't wait to go back to it. And I really, really looked at my books and I did that. And it was kind of insane how many books I found that I thought I really liked, but I was okay with getting rid of. But yeah, so for the most part, I have decided to get rid of all of these books because of space and just moving because again i'm not gonna want to box up all of these books and take them with me places so i really wanted to only have books that i really really loved so what i have decided to do is this bookshelf back here is what i'm kind of planning on bringing with me to my apartment or house uh for the next little bit um, like when I move in with myself, like by myself, I'm going to be taking this bookshelf and the books that fit on it that I want to bring. So, um, this actually has space on it too, considering I have some books on there that I don't necessarily, I wouldn't bring with me probably. So, um, that's actually really nice. And then over here are the books that I would probably leave here, um, except for maybe my classics, but like I still love them a lot and I would get them after I've settled down somewhere. So this is kind of going to be a little bookshelf tour, I guess, because I'm going to show you guys the books that I did decide to keep. Um, if you guys see a book that you knew I had and I got rid of it, I'm sorry if it was like your favorite book or something, but uh, I really, I was really stingy. Like even books that I gave, you know, 4.5 out of 5 stars, sometimes I got rid of them. Like mostly the books back here that I decided to keep are like favorites like basically they're all favorites books I talk about all the time and I really really love um and yeah and these are a lot of like favorite series and stuff like that so yeah this is gonna be a little mini bookshelf tour and all also 
there is a bookshelf up in New Hampshire so some books that are from like childhood like the Percy Jackson series number two all the Cassandra Clare books are up there so if you're wondering where those are I do still have them but yeah I'm gonna show you guys what I decided to keep okay so firstly starting with the big shelf if you guys didn't know my first shelf is actually for my k-pop albums um, because obviously I needed a place to store those so actually this entire shelf has never really been full of books it's also always had this shelf which is k-pop albums and then down here we have my tbr shelf which i just went over for you guys and then coming down here we have some of the my favorite series that i decided to keep so obviously we have like hunger games we have the first maze runner because i didn't like the other books in the series but i like the first one um veronica roth brandon sanderson's mistborn uh, the Raven Cycle, Captive Prince Trilogy, just the first Daughter of Smoke and Bone, because again, I only liked the first one, so I got rid of the other ones. Uh, the Graceland Trilogy, and then Scythe and the Unquiet, which these are all books that I just really, really loved, series that I really loved. And again, coming down here, the shelf is very not full, and it just has my Stephanie Meyer books, like Twilight series, and my Percy Jackson series, and Winter Song, and then Tuesdays with Mori, and The Reason That I Jump. Um, Tuesdays with Maureen, the reason I jump are just like special to me, so I decided to keep them. And then coming down here, we have my classics, or like, you know, quote classics. So over here on the right side, we have my like mass market paperbacks of Shakespeare and a bunch of other little um, things that a lot of people would probably read in school. And then we have, you know, Lois Lowry the Giver. Great Expectations, and my entire Poe collection, Watership Down, Frankenstein, The Outsiders, Picture of Dorian Gray, House of Leaves, um, and yeah, so these are books that I'm honestly kind of saving to put in my classroom when I'm a teacher. <laughs> and then next to them are my comic books, and I only kept my favorite comic books, I used to have a much bigger collection, but basically I just kept Nimona, um, my Shonen Jump, my first ever Shonen Jump that I bought, and um, my Sweet Tooth, and my Braves Warrior collection. And that is it. I gave the rest of them to my friend. And now coming over to this shelf. Yep. So like I said, this shelf actually has a couple of books on it that I ne wouldn't necessarily keep. Like over here I still have my Peter Pan shelf, but a couple of those I don't think I'll actually keep. I pr will probably get rid of after I read them. Um, we have my Tolkien collection, obviously. I would probably only bring like one of the series with me at the... Um, until I come and collect all of my books and then we have textbooks which would come with me But probably wouldn't actually be on the shelf coming up to this little cube We have a couple of Herky Murakami books some Sarah Beth Thirst Which is one of my favorite authors, but then we have the Phantom Tollbooth Which is just a staple of my childhood and three books I am kind of on the fence about getting rid of because although I did love them. They weren't necessarily favorites So uh, those are just there for right now until I decide we of course have my Murakami collection because even if I didn't like one of the books, I am keeping him, like, together. I don't care. And coming over here, this is the- honestly, these shelves, like, these three cubes aren't really organized. They just- I just kind of threw books on there. But we have quite a few books that you guys will probably recognize from me talking about them constantly. Like Shelter, um, Socrates in Love, Hotel Iris, Gone Girl, The Gargoyle, The Vegetarian, Strange Weather in Tokyo, The Last Illusion, uh, the Dumb House, In Order to Live, Blindness, You, and A Brief History of Seven Killings. And then up here are more books that I just really loved, like Dragon Springs Road, Ready Player One, Willful Machines, Tattoo Atlas, Water for Elephants, Memoirs of a Geisha, The Kite Runner, Only Ever Yours, I Believe in a Thing Called Love, and The Devil of Non King. Some of these are my favorites, um, others are just ones that I really, really loved, as well as with this pile, I Am a Cat, The Golem and the Genie, Native Son, uh, I, am a, I Am the Messenger, The Book Thief, and The Shadow of the Wind. Again, some of them are just books I really love, some of them are favorites, and I'm sure you guys probably know which ones are which. And then over here is my official favorites cube. So, like, obviously we have Three Souls, The Lay of the Heaven, The Foxhole Court series, and Tell the Wolves I'm Home. Obviously, a couple of Haruki Murakami books and a couple of other books should probably be in there, but this just looks nicer, plus I didn't want to bring any Haruki Murakami books out of there little cube but yeah this is probably like i love this cube because human acts looks so beautiful <laughs> yeah that is actually it those are all of the books that i decided to keep because yeah i mean again i think every single book on these shelves i love besides like my tbr shelf but again i'm gonna be strict with my tbr shelf when i read the book if i don't love it absolutely love it i will be getting rid of the book so after i get through all of those 
books, I will probably have even less on my shelves. Um, and this, of course, was just a personal decision of mine. I don't expect everyone to be like, oh my god, I'm gonna go get rid of all my books too. Um, I think it is just my situation right now and the fact that I don't have the space and the means to be moving around with all of these books all the time. Um, as well as just my personal what I want my shelf to be. I know a lot of people don't mind having hundreds of unread books um, and looking at their shelves as a personal library and I know people who like to have an entire catalog of books, every single book that they've ever read, including ones they hate. Um, but I think I am personally a person who I just want my very, very favorites on my shelf because when I look at these shelves, they make me happy. Um, before, when my shelves were filled with books I had never read and filled with books I had read but I didn't really care about that much, I got a little stressed out, I'm not gonna lie. I've always kind of been one of those people that gets a little stressed out with how many books that I always had. So I finally decided to just kind of cut that out of my life and get rid of all of them. And I'm really, really happy that I did decide to do it. And I'm really excited about these shelves. I, again, I love almost all of the books on here um, besides a couple I haven't read yet. So this has been my video all about getting rid of the majority of my books and my book buying ban because yeah so basically when I get back from Hawaii I'm planning on not buying books anymore besides books that I have already read or books that I Ha like love the author of so I'm going to be I've been trying to do it for years now is I'm trying to go back to the library to read and then I will if I read a book that I love I can go and buy a physical copy of it because that means I will also save money because if you guys didn't hear I am have to go to grad school now which means I have to save up some money so um I think this such this situation is just going to work better for me personally. So that is all for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, if you are the same as me or if you have always wanted to get rid of some books or something like that or have any comments on this video, talk to me down in the comments below. And I love you all and I will see y'all soon. Bye!